All right, everyone. In part one of module 13.1 through 13.3, we are going to be looking at two functions that allow us to change some value based on the value that is provided to it, uh, which is the decode and the case functions. So what decode allows us to do is specify some sets of values for an attribute. And if we see this value, we're going to replace that value with some other value, right? Just like a, a secret decoder ring. So in this example here, uh, where we're looking for the student ID name and grade level, and we want to order by this decoded grade level, if you want to return students in their order of progression through uh, college or, or through high school uh, as freshman, sophomore, junior, then senior, and then graduate, you can't do that alphabetically, right? Because those are not in alphabetical order. You know, junior comes before uh, sophomore, which is not the case in the order that you progress through uh, your curriculum. So what this decode statement is going to do is replace FR with one, SO for sophomore with two, JR for junior with three, SR for senior with four, and GR for graduate with five, and then order by these numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So this would allow us to, uh, to order these tuples the way we want to, instead of having to order them, say, alphabetically by the, uh, by the name of the grade level. Our case expression allows us to do conditional statements very similar to uh, what you would do with an if-then-else statement in other programming language. So in this case, we have our case expression and then all of our conditions. So when condition one evaluates to true, then we'll do this output. When condition two evaluates to true, then we'll have this output and so forth down the line. So for example, we could do something very similar to what we had in our decode expression. So uh, in this case, we're selecting student ID, name, grade level from student, order by, okay, and now here starts uh, our case expression. When grade level equals FR, then the resulting value will be one. When grade level equals SO, then the resulting value will be two, and so on down the line. Okay, so this is going to give us the exact same output that our decode gave us before. Or we could do something uh, clever like this, is to, in our select statement, have a case expression that looks for the value of this st sex attribute. And if the value is m, then we're going to output Mr. Else, or we could say if the value is f, but since we're just looking for people who aren't uh, male, we could say else we're going to output this value of ms and then concatenate that to the value of st name, which would give us Mr. Blake Eyes, Mr. Randolph B. Cooper, Miss Iris Junglis, and so forth down the line. So uh, there's a lot of different things that we could do as the result of our case statement. And so I would uh, encourage you guys to play around with that a little bit and see what all of our options is, what all of your options are. But uh, that's it for our decode and case statements and part one of this video series. See you next time.